So in this experiment we're going to prepare an ester from an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. So the alcohol that we're using is methanol and the carboxylic acid that I've chosen to use is ethanoic acid. So we will make an ester called methyl ethanoate. Okay. So I'm going to start by adding some of the alcohol, the methanol, to a test tube. Okay. So approximately a depth of about one centimetre should be fine. And then I'm going to add approximately the same volume of the carboxylic acid, the ethanoic acid. And then we want to catalyse the reaction. So the catalyst I'm going to use is concentrated sulfuric acid. So I'm going to add five drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. So for the reaction to take place, I'm going to place it into a water bath, but methanol and ethanoic acid, relatively volatile, so I want to put a, a condenser around the neck of my test tube. So what I'm going to do is just use a wet paper towel, and I'm just going to wrap a wet paper towel around the neck of the test tube, which acts as a condenser. It keeps the neck of the test tube cold, and it will stop any vapour escaping. Okay, and I'm just going to secure that with an elastic band. Like so. And then I'm going to pop some cotton wool in the mouth of the test tube, just so that if I pop it into the boiling water, it stops any of the reactants spitting out of the end of the test tube. Okay, so I can pop that into some boiling water. I'm using flammable chemicals, so I'm not going to make a, a water bath by heating up water with a Bunsen burner. I don't want a naked flame about. I've just boiled some water in a kettle, which I'm going to put in this beaker here. And then we can pop a reaction mixture into the beaker and let it react for approximately 10 minutes. Okay, so after 10 minutes, what we're going to do now is to uh, detect if we have made any ester in the reaction. Now to do that, we're going to pour it into some sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. So I'm just going to add that to this beaker. Okay, and when I add in the reaction mixture, that is going to do two things. It's going to neutralise the sulfuric acid catalyst and any unreacted carboxylic acid. And it'll also remove the scent of the carboxylic acid. So if I pour that in there, we should see it reacting and neutralising. And you see the fizzing there of it neutralising. And that will allow us to see two pieces of evidence of an ester formation. Okay, and you have to look closely to see the top layer. Esters are immiscible in aqueous solution, so the ester will be forming a very thin layer that you can see on the top of that, that you can just see on the top of that. And the other piece of evidence is that esters uh, have a, a distinctive sweet smell, sometimes a fruity smell, and we can detect that just by holding the beaker not too close to our noses and just wafting and breathing gently and you'll be able to smell the sweet smell of the ester. Alcohols and carboxylic acids react together forming an ester. This is called esterification and can be classed as a condensation reaction. During a condensation reaction, molecules join together by eliminating a small molecule, often water. The name of the ester comes from the reactants, for example, methyl from methanol, ethanoate from ethanoic acid. The reverse of a condensation reaction is a hydrolysis reaction. When an ester is broken down, this is classed as a hydrolysis reaction. During hydrolysis, water, hydro, is used to break down, lysis, the molecule. 